Welcome back. Well, you know, this is the time of year where all the kids are getting excited about Halloween and about costumes and about candy and about all kinds of things. But there are, there's a segment of our population that have food allergies and so it becomes a little bit, um, they have to be a little bit more careful about the choices that they make around Halloween. So I'd like to introduce you to Kathy and Ayla and Ayla uh, has severe food allergies and Kathy when did you discover that Ayla's food allergies were severe not just you know one or two items it's quite severe with her yeah she um, it was just before her first birthday and uh, at your first birthday you know you bake a cake yeah and, and I just had a feeling about Ayla because she had had a lot of eczema as a baby and so I decided to try her with what they, what the doctors tell you to introduce egg yolk just before their first birthday. So I had made the egg yolk, prepared it, and I started, had her in her high chair, started feeding her, and she was spitting it out. And I thought, oh, maybe she just doesn't like the texture. I didn't know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I, I just kept going. Here, try another piece. And then she started vomiting. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And it wasn't, it literally was, just like we're talking smaller than a pea amount. Really? I would, yeah, she started vomiting. So she didn't even ingest it. It was just getting it into her mouth. Yeah. And then uh, and she started crying and irritation. And she ended up with hives all around her neck. Got her out of that high chair. Oh, no kidding. Luckily, they tell you to have Benadryl nowadays. Gave her some Benadryl. Got her to, got my husband to take her out. So I kind of walk her around. And uh, luckily, she was fine. Good. But that was the first indication, then sent to an allergist, and then it, it goes from there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you and your husband have food allergies that, you know, you thought, okay, this is genetic, or was this was, Ayla is special anyway, but this was a special thing for Ayla. Yeah, we, ha yeah, we, we had no food allergies. Um, I have some intolerances, but I didn't even discover those until after Ayla was born. That's it though. No, we have been able to eat peanut, eggs, our whole lives, no issues. And then all of a sudden we have Ayla who is right. allergic to egg and peanut. Right. Okay. So egg and peanut and anything else? She was. When we went to that first visit, it was horrendous because we found out she had several several allergies. Uh -huh. And unfor uh, unfortunately, she grew out of a lot. And okay. then now it's just down to egg and peanut. Well, that's good. Yeah. Now, Ayla, for you, um, obviously you've grown up. This is part of you. Yeah. This, is, this is who you are. How old are you now? I'm nine. You're nine? You had to think about that for a second. Did you just turn nine? No. Oh, okay. She's turning 10. <laughs> She's, She's turning, turning 10. 10. Okay, yeah, okay. Serious. So when you're out with your friends or when you're at school, what are the things that you know you have to do? Um, I have to wear my EpiPen around everywhere. I have to be careful of egg and peanuts. Like, if there's an egg and pe peanuts or a kid at my school ate, like, an egg salad sandwich, I can't go near their desk. They have to wash their desk. Ah. Um, I have to stay away from their desk. Okay. And I always wash my desk just in case right. with Lysol wipes. Right. So. Right. Okay. Okay. So you carry those with you as well. When we talk about Halloween, though, there are there's a thing called the Teal Pumpkin Project, and we actually did um, do a show on it last year. Yeah. But I think it's absolutely worth talking about again because, as I said to you. Um, just earlier today, I went into Michael's the other day and there were no teal pumpkins left and, and you had picked up this teal pumpkin just a couple of days ago. On the weekend. Yeah. On the weekend. Yeah. So, yeah. so, and there was a bunch and uh, they were on sale, which is always great. Yeah. And um, so I bought one and uh, here we go. So, so let's talk about it. It's popular. What, yeah. what does it, what is it for? What does a teal pumpkin, pumpkin project, what is it? Okay, so it's, first of all, it started in the States. Okay, and teal is the allergy awareness, food allergy awareness color. October happens, happens to be, you know, food allergy awareness month. So why not paint your pumpkin teal right. and say that basically it's a statement saying that we have non-food uh, alternative to, uh, for children who are ah. coming, who have severe food allergies. Right. I mean, there's some parents that just 
their children has had so many reactions that they say, I don't want to take my kid out for Halloween anymore. Like, it's just, right. it's and so... that's not fair. It's... It's not fair. I mean, I understand where their parent is sure. coming from, and I don't blame them. Yeah. But this is where we can chip in, and uh, we can have some, um, we can give them toys and yeah. little goodies and neat stuff. And it's not expensive, so that's what's nice about it. And I think the bigger, the bigger thing is is kind of the statement around it saying that we, you are included. Exactly. So Ayla is lucky. She can eat a lot of candy. Um, we just have to label read, and uh, my eyes are still pretty good because <laughs> they're small. They are. And Ayla is a great label reader. She has she has become right. Um, but um, it, it, this this just allows this great alternative yeah. for and, and and as I was saying, she she goes up, she sees this teal pumpkin, and and it, and it makes her feel included and special too. Exactly. And all those other kids. Exactly. So,